people, obviously, I'm doing it again, I'm doing it already, I'm doing it already. After watching back the video from last time, I noticed that <coughs> I do this a lot, mm -hmm. and who lives in the back of my snake room? Who's down there? Why do I keep looking down there? I don't know what's... <sighs> but anyway, over 1,000 views on Facebook, that's, that's incredible, I, I, I'd have been happy if... If one person had seen it, two, three. Mind you, I do think about 900 of the views are mine. Probably. But anyway, yeah, forget about that. Education number two. I'm going to um, talk about how to set up. How to set up for your um, Royal Python, basically. So I think it's time that we get our hiss on. I think I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use that in all. I think that should be my catch. Yeah. Let's get our hiss on. Let's go. Whether you need a, a, a rack or whatever, I'm just going to tell you, you know, a vivarium. I'm just going to tell you what they need in their in their enclosure. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need heating. Okay. So one end needs to be hot. One end needs to be cold. So your hot end, not cold, but still, your hot end is uh, on your hot spot. You want it to be roughly low 90s. Mine fluctuates from 90 to 93 ish. Um, and then your cool end, mine's done by my room, so I've got an oil filled radiator that, that heats my room up to about 80 degrees. Um, it fluctuates between 79 and again 83 is what it does in the room. Um, you're going to need um, some humidity. I've got a humidifier, so it makes my life easy. Um, but I've got like 40, 50 snakes, so you know, you've got one snake, just spray it down every couple of days or at once a week at least. Make sure you spray it down once a, le once a week at least. Um, your heat source. This is a must, people. Please do this, because it's just you're just stupid if you don't. Please use a thermostat, you know, because you're just going to end up having a crisp, toasty snake, all burnt up, and I hate seeing that. It's 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 just it's not it's it's not needed. It's just being lazy, and if you can't afford a thermostat, you can't afford a can't afford a snake. Simple as. Um, so make sure it's on a thermostat. If you're using a light um, for your heat source, please put a cage around it. Yeah, because again, you'll burn your snake. It's just silly not to do it. Um, yeah, so you're going to need a couple of hides. Actually, loads of hides. Loads. Just fill it up. They like to hide a lot. Um, hides, water bowls, um, and your bedding. Um, hang on, let's go back. Water bowls. Your water bowl needs to be big enough for your snake to submerge itself in. So it can have a nice soak when it goes into shed. Um, bedding. There's loads available. Aspen, wood chip, bark coconut husk even newspaper uh, I'm using lichen to sell at the minute can't fault the stuff it's great um, what else do we need to do uh, da, 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 da. Uh, bearing in mind that if you are putting them in a viv because trust me some vivs can look sick you can make them look really really good but bearing in mind that the um, the raw piping is nocturnal so you're going to do a nice, nice pretty viv, and you're going to come down, and it's going to look like he's had a party in there. He's going to have all his mates round and everything. There's going to be beer and stuff all over the floor. You know, he's going to wreck the place. He's going to trash it. He will. And um, make sure you get a lock on that viv. They're clever. If they want to get out, they'll figure it out, and they'll get out. And um, a touchy subject coming up now, people. If you do this, <sighs> cohabbing. So this is where people put more than one snake in one viv. Don't do it. It's not on. Yeah? It's just... What's that, mate? Sorry, what'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, they get on with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're cuddling. Cuddling, yeah. They're not cuddling. Okay? They're not cuddling. One will be dominant over the other. Probably the one on the heat source will be the dominant one. And, and not only that, just mess and, and contamination, disease and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, like sitting on the toilet seat when someone's peed all over it. You know, how'd you like to go into bed after someone's taken a dump in it? It's not on. It's not nice. Um, I think I've covered pretty much all of it. Um, I keep looking down here because I've got a snake down there. Do you see it? This one is a Super Mojave. It's lovely. Look at that. So it's an all-white snake. Um, it's a super form of a co-dominant gene, um, Mojave. But we'll do more on genes and stuff when we go through um, breeding and genetics. Hey little mate, you right? Yeah.
Okay, so next week we're going to be doing, um, I'm going to do a video on feeding. Um, it's not going to be for everyone, people. Everyone's not going to want to see it. You are going to see a dead rat being eaten whole by a snake. Um, I'm going to try and show the whole thing. Um, and I'm going to talk over it as well. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for um, picky feeders. Because these are notorious for going about their food. So, peace out. Adios. No, you know that's stupid. Yeah. Not happening. Peace out, people. Have a good one. Like, share, comment, whatever. Do your thing. You know what I'm on about. Share, share, share.